walk us out on the way to America now. I feel bad! <laughs> Before we came, I was like, oh, I don't really know if I'm gonna press the button. And our guide was like, okay, officer number one, sit in that chair. Officer number two, sit in that chair. Now, press your buttons together, go. And you just do it because like, someone was telling you to do it. about to do something that I kind of can't believe that they're letting us do and not just like us like anybody can do this as long as you as long as you pay the museum fee we are going to visit a nuclear launch facility an old one of course when the Soviet Union collapsed about a third of the Soviet nuclear arsenal was still in Ukrainian territory Outside of Pervomayevsk, which is where we are right now, you can still go visit one of the nuclear missile launch facilities in Ukraine. So we're gonna check it out today. The more I thought about it, the more I'm like, I mean, you can imagine where those missiles were aiming. <laughs> Just like a 20 minute ride? Is 20. it 20? Max, ride from Pramayas, we've made it to the museum. Our guide was telling us that like, there were like, missile silos like all around the region. Um, like she grew up here and they didn't know about it at all. Of course, it was top secret. But can you imagine like, you're living in a village in Ukraine and three kilometers away is a nuclear missile silo. down into the command center but in case that you are a claustrophobic person or you don't want to go they've got models of the sort of levels you can visit anyway so this would be the launch area where you would press the button to get the codes do the monitoring and then in case of a disaster this was the living compartment So right now we're walking underground in the underground tunnels that are all throughout the territory. We're heading towards the command center. Um, the reason why there's so many tunnels connecting all the different parts of the territory is that they didn't want satellites to see the troop movements and shift changes and things like that. So it was to keep it really, really secret. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't stop. All right. Number one, number two, six hours. Now we'll try to launch all ten. Huh? Yeah, button is here. Yes, sure. Yeah, button is here. Two, one, push. We are going to launch all ten rockets on your keyboards. Press any ten numbers or letters. It's your code. Any ten. Wow. But America will see them and they will send the same rocket here. Yeah. 
How did you feel pressing the button that launched 10 rockets? <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't a real thing, so. So behind me is the actual missile silo. As you can see, the lid is kind of up a little bit. You can look down into the silo. The little sort of like mushroom things around it detect radiation and they are part of a system that would trigger the missile to launch if they felt like everything had been destroyed already. So if it detected radiation, this is as I understand it, if they detected radiation they would start to send signals to like the sort of human run bases around it. Um, and eventually, if like no humans stopped the automatic processes and it, the signal got all the way to Moscow and Moscow didn't like cancel the automatic launch, the system would understand that nuclear war had already started and it would automatically launch. It's kind of crazy. I mean, it's like really crazy. It's not just kind of crazy. There's 86 missiles. Well, there were. There were 86 missiles in this territory. I just can't, I can't imagine actually sitting there not knowing where a missile was going to be heading because they didn't know. People pushing the buttons didn't know where the missiles were going. So we kind of thought the day was over when our tour was over. These, these guys invited us down to a bunker from the 1940s. Yeah. 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 And proceeded to show us like all this original stuff from like World War II and then they invited us to do some shots with them. So we just we just did like several shots. It must be light and warm. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Cork. 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 Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Here you go. Oh, and one of the guys was the person who did the last shift when the silo was operational. That site was actually operational into 2000. They had one nuclear warhead left in 2000. So when it was, it wasn't that long ago. So we met the person who was on the last shift before the base was totally decommissioned. We had some vodka with him. For victory. <laughs> 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 Always good to check when you're in like a nuclear missile silo. Well, it's kind of relaxing down here now. So we uh, what was gonna say.